Hey everybody, I'm at Jenga Steak and Sushi located in Southwest Las Vegas. There are all kinds of sushi places in Las Vegas. This one has an all-you-can-eat menu. In 2020, they won the Gold Award by the Best of Las Vegas, which is hosted by the Review Journal. The RJ is a local newspaper that holds an annual contest where the readers vote for their most favorite places. This is my first time at this location. They used to have an old location on Decatur and Twain. That location is gone, but they do have another location on Flamingo that focuses more on sushi and oysters. This place is pretty big, it's fairly large, and it looks pretty new, although they've been here for a few years now. They have a full bar and also sushi bar seating. And in one section of the restaurant, they have the Tepon Grills. So if you don't feel like sushi and you want steak, my man Joe here can take care of you. The Tepan Grill will have your steak and seafood options and they range from about $25 to $45 depending on what you get. They can accommodate you even if you're a single person or if you come as a party of two or large parties. The all-you-can-eat sushi menu is $24.95 for lunch and then they have a $29.95 all day where you get some of the select items that are not available on the lunch menu. I love the tapas here, the little small plates. They have a large selection and you can get a full meal out of just tapas. The chicken wings here were my favorite. They were deep fried without breading, had a great crispy outer skin, great flavor and the sauce was good as well. They have all kinds of things here, little fried corn fritters, I forgot exactly what it's called. They even have calamari rings. The sauces were good, all the fried items were hot and crispy outside, loved the tapas here. There are so many things on the menu, there's no way you're going to be able to try everything, so be selective. They have numerous salads, and they have soups and noodle dishes. This is a pumpkin soup, kind of sweet and has a good pumpkin flavor, very unique. This one was a little bit more watery and not as thick as some of the other pumpkin soups or porridges I've had. They also have these interesting dishes, like this is the Saikoro steak. These were cut into bite-sized pieces. I just wish that the pieces were a little bit bigger. They were cut pretty small. 
And later in the video, I also ordered a honey miso pork, which was really good. They even have some Korean barbecue items. But for a lot of people, the draw is the all you can eat sushi. I usually order my usual stuff, but they had some neat items such as the seared beef tataki and a whole bunch of rolls. I'm not usually a sushi roll person because it's pretty filling, but lately I've been getting into it. I just don't know how to order them because there are so many different types. Sexy time is popular. Okay. Red Rock. Mm -hmm. Or also the Playboy is also going to be I ordered one of the house specials, the Ellen roll. It was a very attractive looking roll. It sounded good and also tasted good. They have some pretty funny names for these rolls. Sounded interesting, but I didn't order any ass. For the Red Rock and the Sponge special. Okay, thank you. Enjoy. It took me a while to order the rolls, but the ones I did get were really good. Everything was fresh and the flavor was really good. The sauces were really yummy. The rolls contain a lot of rice and can be very filling, but they do have half roll options if you want to order less. They also have fresh oysters, but in the all you can eat menu, they only give you one per person. Another high ticket item and one of my favorites is the sweet shrimp, the amaebi. They also limit you to one order per person on the sweet shrimp. The presentation wasn't as creative as some of the other places, but the texture was incredible. For some of you advanced sushi eaters, this is called the tobiko. It's a flying fish roe with quail egg on top. It's similar to the masago, the orange little round balls that are usually on top of a lot of the sushi rolls, but this is more firm in texture and the quail egg adds an extra creaminess. This is the yellowtail carpaccio. The butteriness of the yellowtail with a little bit of the pepper, I think it was serrano and sriracha. The buttery flavor of the yellowtail makes it one of my favorite items. If you like to order sushi with the rice underneath, this place really makes an effort to keep the rice to fish ratio pretty small, meaning that they don't add too much rice. And they leave a little more fish at the end, like a little tail so that you get more of the fish. These are sushi burgers. These are not included in the all you can eat menu. Even though I was doing the all-you-can-eat menu, I had to try these sushi burgers. I ordered the slider sampler. It's about $19 a la carte. These come in a crispy rice bun. It's not crispy all the way throughout. It is a little softer inside, but these were really filling. I wouldn't really call these sliders. These were thick. It's probably better off just lay them on the side and go to a fork and knife. I thought these were just okay. Nothing spectacular. They reminded me of sushi burritos, which they have here. The sushi burritos here come with a lot of rice. There's a large amount of rice in these sushi burritos. They have a few different kinds you can choose from. This is the bulgogi burrito, the Korean barbecue. I like these a little bit better than the sushi burgers, but they're about the same, similar tastes, except for the fact that the sushi burgers had that crispy rice bun. This is called the monkey burrito. This comes with a spicy tuna. It's also supposed to have tempura shrimp, which was kind of lost or was missing altogether. This dish is called the KFC, the Korean fried chicken. Only it came on a skewer with all kinds of sauces. It was okay. And this one was really good. This is the honey miso pork that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. This was on my second or third trip to this place because I couldn't try everything on one visit. But this was really good. I loved the sauce, the honey and the miso and it came on a sizzling plate and the pork was tender and delicious. On my few trips to this place, I will mention that the consistency wasn't there. It was rather inconsistent. When it comes to some of the cuts of the sushi, sometimes they were cut too small, sometimes they were a little bit larger, but the freshness was there, except for a couple of items. Sometimes they even have specials on the board. When I saw this menu, I was pretty impressed with the selection, mainly because I saw that they had toro. Toro is a fatty tuna, very, very pricey, very, very high quality but this wasn't like any Toro I've had. In fact, I wonder if it really was a Toro 
or maybe just the end piece. This was rubbery. This was nothing like the Toro that I know. If you want to see real Toro, check out my Hachi video. However, this was included in the all you can eat menu, so I can't complain. For the most part, you will get your fill of really good quality food and a large selection. But any place that does an all you can eat menu where they mass produce food, you're going to get some poor quality stuff like these udon noodles. Terrible, soggy, mushy, very low quality. The broth was very average or below. But most of all the items I had here were really, really good. Like this salmon collar. If you like baked fish, this is really good. Sometimes they even have the yellowtail collar. I prefer yellowtail collar because it is a little more softer with a little more flavor that I like more. But the salmon wasn't bad at all. Very tender, cooked very well and tasted really good. Each time I came here, I ate till I was really full, but I always had room for dessert. They do have some dessert here. This is the green tea ice cream. You get a double scoop of this one. If you order the other ice cream flavors, you only get one scoop. I think that's the way it goes. Another time I was here, I also tried the mochi ice cream. The only drawback is that you only get one. I got the mango, and on the outside is the rice cake wrapping that makes it really unique. For me, rather than going to a big buffet on the strip, sometimes I'd rather go to an all-you-can-eat sushi place like this one. And I do think this is one of the better all-you-can-eat sushi places in Vegas. Would I go back? Yes, I will. In fact, I'm gonna go again now. So that's it from Jenga Sushi and Steak in Southwest Vegas. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.